So yeah, try this one out. Uh, we just have inequalities now that we're going to have to work on specifically to get the specific values that would give us equalities so we know where the intervals begin and end. All right, so let's look at this first one here on the left in red. Um, I just need the x's on one side of that inequality or greater than sign. And it doesn't matter which side I choose. Uh, this one specifically, though, I would, I would want them on the left. But again, it doesn't matter. So I need to subtract this 3x from both sides. Now, the reason I say subtract 3x from both sides is because then I know that my coefficient of x is going to be a positive 3. The reason I want a positive is because, remember with those inequalities, if I ever multiply or divide both sides by a negative, then it will, it will flip the inequality. So that minus 50 also is on the wrong side. So I'm also going to add 50 here as well. Well, your answer would stay the same, wouldn't it? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. You'll still get the same answer. I'll show you how we'll, we'll remember look. To focus on. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that I have this, this is really just a one-step equation where I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Again, this is dividing both sides by a positive 3. So it doesn't do anything to the inequality. It's still eating towards the left. Now, on the other hand, if you put the x's on the right, what you would have had is a negative 27. Let me make sure I do this right. Is greater than a negative 3x. Mm -hmm. Then when you divide both sides by negative 3, you still have x, but it flips that inequality, and we're still comparing it to positive 9. Um, both of those are equivalent. So that's not even going to make a difference there. And so we're looking at uh, comparing 9. I guess I should have checked there. Yeah, I think it should probably go over here. I'll give myself some space just in case. This one's eating the x, so it's going to go to the right. And it's not equal to, so we have a curve parenthesis there. All right, let's do the right side then. Uh, I'm going to put the x's on the left again, just because I have more x's on the left. So I need to subtract these six x's, which gives me a positive x here. But I also have that plus 8, which is on the wrong side, so I need to subtract 8 from both sides. And we didn't do any multiplying or dividing, so it's just going to be compared to negative 3. So this became a 0, and that became a 0, which is where the x and the negative 3 come from. All right, so let's put 3 on this, which would be the left of 9. Not that you guys would have to on the homework. Oh, negative 3. That's what I meant. Negative 3. This one is not eating the x, so it is going to go to the left. And it's also equal to, so we'll have a square bracket right there. All right, now we need the interval. So in purple, this goes all the way to negative infinity, which is not included. So we have this curved parenthesis here. It stops at negative 3. And we will unite this with starting at 9, which is not included. And this goes to infinity, which also is not included. So there's the interval right there.